everybody, welcome to this episode of the DJ Podcast. My name is Peter Morgan and in this episode we're going to be going over the SP6 sample player that is within Serato Scratch Live. Now if you don't have the sample player open you can simply click this button below the waveforms and it will open up the sample player. Now if you want to get a clip into one of the six sample sections you can simply drag and drop a clip in like that or you can use the key combinations of Control, Alt and then Z through N. So Z being for the sample all the way on the left and N being the sample all the way on the right. Now let's start over here on the right with this little drop down menu here. You can see that we have options of what features of the sample player we actually have displayed on the screen. So if we, for example, want to turn off the pitch, we can do so or turn back on. Or if you know you don't want to see the level beater, you can also turn that off. Completely up to you. You know, once you've got the keyboard shortcuts down, in your memory or on a keyboard overlay you may want to turn some of these things off as they do take up quite a bit of screen real estate. Now underneath the little drop down here we have the output section. Now you can either choose L, M, R or this is the global mute button here to globally mute all the samples. If you have it on L it'll come through deck 1 output. If you have it on R it'll come through deck 2 output and if you have it on M it will come through both channels so be sure that you have that set correctly before you are going to use one of the samples you also have a overall gain for the sample player so you can adjust the overall volume of all the samples that are going out and you can see here right underneath that we have four different banks a b c and d you can simply go click between them you can save your sample banks in there all right, so to play a clip, you can simply click on the play button on the uh, specific slot that you want, or you can use the X through N button uh, keys, sorry, on your keyboard, and those go sequentially from left to right. Now we have three playback modes, much like we have three back three playback modes in the software itself. We have three playback modes here. The first one being trigger and that one is uh, you press play. When it starts playing, if you press play again, it'll start at the beginning. And to have it stop, you simply alt-click. So, for example, we start playing the clip here. If you want to start back at the beginning, we just click, click at the end. You can do that as much as we want. And if we want to stop, we just simply alt-click. That's trigger mode. We then have hold mode, which is the second one here. If This one works where you simply just hold down the play button and it'll play the clip. It'll stop when you release. And finally, we have start-stop mode. You just play it, and it stops. It's pretty basic. So then underneath that, we have the controls. So going sort of, uh, you know, from left to right, we've got here, which is the pitch slider. We also have the BPM display. We have nudge controls, if you need to nudge the track up or down in pitch. We have the key lock or master tempo function. We can also say whether we want it to start at the beginning of the track or if we have cue points or a loop, we can set that there. And there's also the option to repeat the track once it's done playing. As you can see here, we have the waveform and if we play the clip, you can see that we can jump in between on the waveform, much like we could if we were playing in internal mode. Finally, we have the sample gain here, which will actually be the same as the clip gain if you set that in Serato. We also have individual sample uh, volume control here, so you can you know increase or decrease the volume. And finally, we have the volume or levels, I should say, of the clip, of the clip that is playing. So that's a quick overview of the SP6 sample player that lives within Serato Scratch Live. Thanks for watching.